Hey, how's it going? It's Wing Chun Kid here. Just taking a walk, doing my qigong, and doing my tai chi exercises. You know, they say tai chi is only good for old people, and it's only good for health and fitness. But I say that's wrong because tai chi means grand ultimate fist in China, and the most powerful fighters at that time used tai chi. So I'm going to show you how to use it in the street self defense, because attacks can come at any time, any moment. <laughs> All right, in this video, we're going to show you the top five most powerful Tai Chi techniques you can use in self-defense. Here we go. Yo, what's up? Welcome to Tai Chi's most powerful five techniques. We're going to start with technique number five, cloud hands. Look, like this. It's very nice and peaceful and very fluffy and very soft. That's what we call it, cloud hands. As if you are creating clouds with your hands. All right, so if it's stationary, this is how it looks like. Let's just isolate one hand. Okay, notice my whole body is moving my hand. It starts with the rotating of the hips, up to the movement of the shoulders, up to the movement of my shoulders, and then my elbow joint, to my wrist joint, to my fingers. Okay, so the whole body needs to be coordinated. That's just one hand. Now we combine two hands at the same time. It's going to look like this. Now in the form, we have movement. So it's going to look like this. Step. So you need to coordinate the steps with the cloud hands, okay? Going this way. Okay? In some forms, we see a cross step like this. Okay? So either way you do it, as long as you have this motion, and that's correct. Okay, make sure you're using your whole body and see every connection is there. Some details you want to notice is that when I'm coming up, my fingers point upwards. Then I flip it, and then when I'm coming down, as if I'm painting a wall with my fingers. And then when I come down, and then down here, I'm scooping up, and then my fingers point upwards again. So then when I'm here, I rotate out and then I paint down with my fingers. All right, so those are just some details of the form. I'm gonna show you how to use it in application. First way of movement is the parry and punch. Okay, so it's good if you come up close to go like this, first of all, let's focus on the parry. Okay, so if you come out this way, the parry, right? Parry and grab, parry and grab. Okay, so that's the first. Now we remember it's both at the same time, right? So we parry and punch at the same time. Okay, and I showed you with the other punch it comes, just do it in the other arm. And you can do another punch, but in this case, since I'm behind him, I'm just gonna step and do another one here. Okay, so you can either keep your hand here, because we just grabbed this. Notice in some forms they do that we have the bird speak what this is is actually just holding the wrist the reason they do this with the first three fingers is they want to emphasize that you don't want to use all the force and grab on tight you're just grabbing on this much so that you can let go you can pull let them go it's okay we're not trying to force anything in tai chi everything is smooth and everything goes with the flow so if you want to grab i'm just grab lightly with three fingers okay that's the concept okay i can grab like this but it's always just a light grab so I got the deflection on this side. I move in behind him. I got my bird's beak here. You can go this way, this way, it doesn't matter. I get up to his chest and then I sink it down his chest. Right? So a common, well you can't really say mistake, but a common thing that people do is they want to push this way, which may or may not work. But what ends up happening is just like that. It doesn't fall. He just goes that way, okay? What I like, I like to do is use the cloud hands movement. It comes down in a circle, right? It's a circle. It's not out. It's actually down. So let's try to see the difference. If I go out, that happens. If I go down, that happens. Okay, so you want to use it like that if you want to take the guy down. All right, so that's cloud hands. Technique number five. 
Hey, thanks for watching top five Tai Chi techniques. You want to watch the next video, just click on the video box here, or you can check out some of my other playlists. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the button right here. So I'll see you in the next video.